I think that the perspective that people need to understand this with is before I get into process, we have to talk about perspective. Um, you have to think like an actual human being and not think about the programmatic side of this. I know that that's weird, but like, you know, follow along with me. Let's assume that any of your content on the internet, whether it's a blog post, whether it's a YouTube video, whether it's anything else, whether it's a podcast, let's assume for one moment that it's these individual pieces of paper. They all look the same. They're blank uh, from the perspective, like there's nothing to differentiate these pieces of paper, right? Okay. The moment that you do something as simple as this, all of a sudden, there's a differentiation. That's how you stand out and that's how you're discovered. If you imagine any of your pieces of content as one of these blank pieces of paper in a folder, in a filing cabinet full of folders, in a room full of filing cabinets, you will understand how important it is to differentiate each individual thing and to label it appropriately. This immediately draws our visual attention, but it creates no context. The moment that we take out the Sharpie and we label this, all of a sudden we've created specificity and we've created context. It's a matter of applying that perspective and mindset to the execution of anything you're doing when we're talking about discoverability, whether it's in social media, search engines, or in the physical real world. It's why we judge books by their cover. It's why, you know, when I was focused more on design, that we had to do that with billboards, with book covers. We had to really say, how does this stand out? How does this call attention? And then how do we get them to understand the specific context of what this is and why it matters? So before we even dive into process, I think it's important to have that perspective of saying you have to differentiate yourself. When someone is searching for a YouTube video, they're typing a query into a search box. They're not typing in a word. They're not talking in two words. They're typing how to make videos, how to edit videos, how to grow a business, how to grow an email list. If your sheet of paper, i.e. your video, your blog post, whatever have you, doesn't correlate to that, why would a program that's specifically supposed to deliver a result for them say that you're relevant? Why would it matter? So when you come up with quirky titles or titles that don't make sense, or you put keywords in a description of a blog post or a video that don't correlate to the question that was asked, how can anyone say that you're going to deliver on an answer? Then if you don't call out attention and differentiate yourself and you look the same as everything else, then why should someone click on you versus any of the other things they